call for himself, huh? It looks that way. Yep. How many, days? Rent. <laughs> How many days? Four days to rent. Four days. Four days. Let's see. Chris, Chris Rose again in three, right? <laughs> I think we can pull up. Hey, Walter. All the uh, young mommies buying the books for uh, their little kids. Good so. stuff. It's good to be back, though. I missed you guys. Yeah, you too. It's good to see you, too. So you guys it are still is. downtown? Yep. Yeah, yeah we're all living in the... Uh, it's nice you guys can still all be so close. Yeah, we got about uh, six, so what, six guys in there. Yeah, six or seven. Yeah. I can't even keep track of them. One apartment, big place, yeah. six, seven bedroom. Yeah. Well, no, no. It's Not only it's only, like, it's only two bedrooms. It's kind of close. That's real close. Yeah. Well, some of us sleep on the floor, and some of us sleep, you know, um, wherever we fall. Well, I'm sure it's, I've, I've seen a lot of uh, Architectural Digest uh, shoots of places like this. Where there's lots of loft space and lots of different levels for everyone to sleep in. I'm sure. I'm sure it's well. It's not that fabulous. Much. Basically, we're still in there because of the rent. You know, there's. It's a good the more deal. people are, the less our rent is. Well, I guess that would be the case, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not bad. I, I make complaints, but... Good, good. I'm glad. Never thought we'd have to... Hey, every experience is a good one, right? It's true. Except Anything that doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yeah. Except then in Malton, you gotta, um, pay rent. What? What the fucking... The rent? He doesn't have it? He didn't have it. He didn't have it. He didn't have it. He didn't have it. It'll be... Give me 200 in the pack. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? I just I had a conversation with him. He's... He lost. He lost, uh, he didn't tell me how much, but right. I think he lost some money. <laughs> I come in and, and, and Tony, it'll be, give me 200 in the pack. Mm, Tens the prey. Give me 20 on each of the hard ways. What? what? the fucking, the rent? He doesn't have it. He went down the casinos again, did he? He went down last night. Oh my God, are you kidding? I just I, had a conversation with him. He's, he lost. He lost, uh, he didn't tell me how much, but <laughs> I come in and, and, and Tony, he's sitting, he learn? he's sitting there rolling dice. Right, yeah, well... that's kind of a psychological sure. thing, too, but I guess I should worry about that. Yeah, but if you paid rent, maybe you could step up. All right, that's it. Sorry, it's, go it's ahead. Always about, it's always about rent. It's always I'm not going to be carrying your lazy asses next month like I have every other month before. I mean, I work hard, I try to do, make a living or whatever. Yeah, as, why are you guys always so righteous? Look, money is paper. It comes mm. and it goes. Oh, uh, hey, where are you? He's sitting there rolling dice. Each of the hard ways. What? What the fucking, the rent? He doesn't have it. He went down the casinos again, did he? He went down last night. Oh my god, are you kidding? I just I had a conversation with him. He's... He lost. He lost, uh, he didn't tell me how much, but... <laughs> I come in and, and, and Tony, he's what sitting there rolling dice. He's sitting there rolling dice. The high, the thrill that you feel, oh, I have no idea. Because I don't have a gambling problem. Well, I mean... I don't either. I just have been losing recently. That's all. And that's my problem. I have a losing problem. There's a the landlord reserves the right to evict, impose penalty, and retain security deposit? Yeah. I didn't sign anything like uh, that. Well, look, there's your initials right there. We all, we all had our initial. There's all my initials. I am not going to get a job that pays $5 an hour. I'm sorry. My time is worth more to me than that. Maybe other people can do it. I can't. Is it? Yeah, I would rather play craps than flip burgers. Sorry, I would. That's Ronnie, just me. Ronnie, you have a college diploma. You don't have to flip burgers. You know you don't have to do that. I don't want a job. I want a career. I'm I take pictures of fucking dead bodies, okay? That's what I have to do. You think that's a luxury? Career. And there's blood everywhere. And I had my camera, so I'm like, start taking pictures. And I thought the cops would give me some trouble because, I don't know, there's some law, I think, about yeah. But um, one of the cops actually comes up to me, and he introduces himself, and he's like, you know, are you a photographer? And I said, you know, yeah, I'm a photographer. And he's like, well, do you mind taking pictures? Come with me and take pictures of the dead bodies because our photographer hasn't shown up. Wow. And I was like, oh, you know. <laughs> I was like, all right, you know, I was, I, was hard, dude. I was so fucked up and I was hung over and I was like, <laughs> I was like you know, this will clear my head a little yeah. bit at least. I need some sobering thoughts, you know. How bad is the body smell? Um, I didn't really, it, when I went, I lost all, I was all visual. I was all eyes. Wow. No, I didn't hear anything. I don't remember hearing anything. I don't remember smelling anything, but I remember, you know, what my camera saw. And, um, a true photographer. And I, and I took some good pictures, nice. you know. And that picture that was on the Enquirer, the front page, that day, was, you know, with the guy's head, yeah. and it was, 
it was like kind of off to the side and yeah, had him back. That was on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His head. That was my picture. No way. So what? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's great. Congrats. And does that pay you well? Well, I get paid like I get paid, I get paid per body, and I get paid <laughs> like seventy five. I get paid like seventy five bucks per body. Well, you know how I'm taking pictures of dead people, people right. for the thing, and they're my pictures. You know, I haven't signed any signed release any. or any kind of form for them. So I, what I was going to do was kind of compile and like kind of like a Herb Ritz kind of like real nice, real nice black and white, white book, book, you know, you know really strong, strong pictures of just dead people, and co you know, put them together in, in a book and kind of. Wrong. What do you mean? I think you have some serious problems that you need to address within yourself. What the fuck what is does that? Mean? I mean, I mean, it's worth sacrificing artistic yeah. integrity for. Yeah. If not cash. I think. I think it's. I think. At least how I interpret it is that you are channeling this this energy, this frustration that you have in your life, your whole sort of social situation. An artist it creates his own moral universe. But it's death. They're dead people. It's like well, it's you respect like that. I, I have no problem. And just so happens that I'm taking pictures of dead bodies. I'm going to use that art that I'm creating that to do something good for me. Stop making it. The guys um, in the apartment talked about you like a mentor. I mean, talked about you like a, like a dad. Oh, please. Oh, in a lot of ways. You, they really did look up to you. Right. So you, you have some serious problems. problems. Well, problems are not. These these people have to you know, give you permission. So I don't think that's an issue because they're my pictures. I'm the one pressing the button. One of the families of these people opens up your book and then sees, you know, says he's her dead husband lying in there. Well, she's all dead husband. It's art, though. I, I think they want to be a part of that collection of. Least of oh, death speaks to so many people. How about when you drive when you drive down the highway? Everybody, everybody wants, wants to see the dead bodies. Dude, it's innate. I don't. But the dead thing is whack, dude. I, I, I agree with everything you're saying. That, that speaks husband. to people. Why? And I can give you lots of good reasons. Um, and if you would take a minute, you know, maybe you could understand them, but... Mm. No, I don't think I don't you think could give me good reasons. I just think that we're living in a little bit of a different world right now. I don't think that you please, maybe understand please, me. Please, please, Well, I mean, I mean, this is not anything new that you're about to say. Okay. Well, I've heard it all before, no. I'm sick of it, and that's why I'm not putting up with it anymore. Well, I, I think the okay? difference, I think, um, what my, uh, with all due respect, sir, what I'm trying to say is that... <clears throat> Frankly, you derive um, your income from us, and not for much longer. I don't. Well, and anyway, exactly. You, you could mean, have fooled me. I mean, I'm not really getting my income from you, am I? You've been getting it up till now, and you're getting it late, albeit. But but this month you might not get it at all. And we're trying to account for that, and we're trying to create a circumstance where you won't feel compelled to evict us, but rather you you'll feel an incentive um, to letting us stay, and, and you might even encourage. You know this, what? This well, I want you guys out of here so badly that I will even give you your security deposit back if you leave. Later. Later. Run away from everything. Yeah. Someone needs to explain what you? Typical. Someone needs to explain how, so how, how rent works. works. Like, you pay it's money no and you can live there. If you don't pay money, yeah. you can't yeah. live there. He is a necrophiliac. I'm a real estate agent. I'm a I, from a necrophiliac. You're a necrophiliac. It's you have like, some serious problems. It's so interactive. It's, wrong, it's, so it's, always, about, it's always about rent. It's always I'm not going to be carrying your lazy asses next month like I have every other month before. I mean, I... Right, yeah, well... That's kind of a psychological sure. thing, too, but I guess I shouldn't worry about that. Yeah, but if you paid rent, maybe you could step up. All right, that's it. Sorry. I work hard. I try to do... Make a living or whatever. Yeah, right. Why are you guys always so righteous? Look, money is paper. It comes mm. and it goes. So maybe it's oh, uh, but hey, where I grew up has nothing to do with anything. Maybe it is it does. You have no respect like, for money. Like, like painting stairwells is more respectable. Maybe in your mind it is, but in my mind it's not. You have no respect for money and no respect for making the rent on time. Yeah, I haven't had the problem making the rent. So, yeah, I'm well, going to make the some rent. Some of us have. I'm going to make the rent. Okay, then maybe you will. I'm going to try to make the rent. Okay, well, I'm going to try to make Well, I'm working uh, tomorrow and Saturday, and I should be able to make the rent if I sell a car. If I don't sell a car, I don't know what I'm going to do. Nice vehicle. How are you doing? Uh, Obviously, I think going well here. Hey, good to see you. Well, actually, this is, uh, this is one of the cars that we got on the lot, and I was uh, bringing it over. I thought I'd give you first, first shot, shot at it. Oh, oh it's beautiful. Because uh, I know you, you know, you... You like buying cars and stuff. No, I've been, I've been looking uh, at some vehicles. This, uh, it's a great car. The 911 is the best car ever built. Uh, what year is this? It's a uh, 87. Yeah, it's, uh, 
that's a good year, but there's a lot of advancements that they've done the last couple of years that I'm kind of looking for. It's got the flat air cooled six. Yeah, that's all 911s are great, great, great engine. engine yep. It's got the uh, alloy rims and, and uh, high performance tires. It's beautiful. It's got the dual exhaust. Kitronic. Transmission? Uh, no, this one doesn't, but uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying, because of the recent uh, cash infusion, I'm trying to use that money to rid myself of any uh, of life's little problems, like used cars. Right, you see, uh, I'm short $200. Sorry, the house with the no the crime, commission and check, the car with the right, no, the commission with check for this would be, would be really nice, so I thought, you know, I could... I could drop this one off, and and you'd probably you know like I, like this one. I can't buy a thirty-five thousand dollar car just to help you pay the rent. That's not the way it works. Uh, I told you I'm gonna go to Mr. Klein tomorrow morning. I'm gonna work something out. Yeah, I'm, I'm short two hundred bucks, and uh, and so I thought maybe you could pick this one up, take it off my hands, and and in a couple months maybe I could resell it for you. You know, maybe you just hold on to it right now. So. It's so modern because you take a picture of death yeah, like, and what you do through your imagination is you give it life and that is art. Yeah, I'm, I'm short 200 bucks and, uh, uh, and so I thought maybe you could pick this one up, take it off my hands and, and in a couple months maybe I could resell it for you. you know, maybe just hold it right now so I could... I can't really... I like the keychain though. It's a nice... Uh, not for sale? No? Well, yeah, yeah, for $200. <laughs> I can't buy this car right now. I really appreciate you bringing it over. And you look good driving it, I have to tell you. But Yeah, yeah my life's over if I end up doing anything to it. I was hoping to... This clause here, 2E, if we pay, uh, if we're 30 days... Shit. No, that doesn't, no, that doesn't apply to us. Uh, Dude, that's about pets. We don't okay, no, pets. no, this clause here, if payment is late, there's a $10 charge per day. Yeah, we know about that. Okay. Well, he's let us slide on that before, right. which many times they do, apparently. Right. However, if we're late this month, not only is he going to charge us the penalty this time, but he's going to charge us back penalty for all the months that we are late because he has accounts of all of it. Well, uh, I mean, it would take... I need to get the new car. See, the thing is, Walter, it, um, rent's due, and I can't get a 95 for another two weeks, so I was hoping you could, you know, take this one off my hand. There's a subclause that we signed, but must not have read, what that says that he has the right to evict us. Wait, I can't even read that. At the bottom? Uh, once we get on our feet, it should be good, but right now it's yeah, just it's a little just tight for the cash. And keep plugging. Well, I mean, this, listen, well then, in two, week, to in two weeks, I'll, I'll get a 95 in there, and, and you take a look at that then. You come out there, you come out here then, and, then, and uh, we'll have a little talk. You could uh, make a list of the stuff you want on the 95, and, and I can make sure all of it's in there. On the steering, uh, and you said, what was the other thing you said you wanted the, uh, the, uh, the four-wheel uh, drive? I want the right. Work problems. Okay. Okay. Bob, Bill, and Sam live in an apartment with a monthly rent of $923 per month. Okay. The phone bill amounts to $134, and the heat, water, and electricity cost an additional $171. Okay. okay. How much does each roommate owe in monthly expenses? Well, there's a few more things we have to uh, look at before we can figure that out. Which one of these guys is living in the big room? It doesn't say anything about the big room. No one ever wants to talk about the big room because... Someone is living in the big room and owes a little bit more money, if not a lot more money. Because it's always a lot nicer. It's always a master bedroom with the windows. Figure out who's living in the big room. Okay. Look that up. What do these guys do? Yes, we've been late, and that is all accountable for, for health and other financial reasons. But I think now is a good time for us to come to a, a point where we ask ourselves, you know, what, what's this relationship about between the, the tenant and the landlord? And, and isn't it like lots of other positive relationships, one that is based on understanding and not rigidity, but rather, rather flexibility and a, kind of an unconditional, I won't say love, but respect. And uh, I think that if, if we recognize that as being what's going on here, then you'll understand that if we don't have the rent this month, it's not personal. We're not saying anything personal about Mr. Ron. No I've lived with some characters. Who, which one of these guys is working? Because these nine to fivers take all sorts of showers. Who is the heat on all the time with the windows open? When they're not there. If any of these guys aren't working, they're soaking up the television all day. They're eating that electricity, watching the cable, and basically just stinking up the place. Who's paying for the food? It doesn't say that either. Someone has a girlfriend far away. Now I'd rather have her far away than in the apartment, but uh... Uh, that phone bill. Which one of these guys? 
or someone who has the girlfriend living in the apartment. And I'm sick of having the girlfriend over not paying anything because she's taking up just as much space, if not more sometimes, than one of these guys. And bathroom time. Bathroom time for the girlfriend. Surcharge. I want all, we need all this figured out. The girlfriends, the cable, the food. We need to figure out who's living in that big room. That damn, that big room. Someone's owing some money on that. Well, we gotten this into some sort of uh, spreadsheet, spreadsheet. Well, set up. Couldn't you just add all the numbers up and, up and divide them by three? What are you talking about? Because you end up getting screwed. Screwed if you don't uh, look at what the situation is. I'm going to. Sometime. Okay, but if you get all this information from me, we can figure this out. Don't worry. Divide by three. I don't know if. You lose, you pay me the money. You can't pay the rent. I don't care if you don't pay the rent. You pay me. You owe me. I'll set some guys for break your legs. It's how God. I want the money. In. You can't pay the rent. I don't care if you don't pay the rent. You pay me. You owe me. This is complete. This is. You've accepted this for five years, you lost, and all of a sudden you're, you're saying derogatory things about my company. What we call the cops? For year, we call the cops! Call. I dare you to call me. Are you so cold cynical that you just don't want to hear any of it? I mean, is that how jaded you are? Or were you, were you as a tenant abused by your landlord? I mean, is that no, was I, something hidden? That there you? was no need. To, I, was a, I was a good tenant. I, 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 I never caused any trouble. Did uh, you? Uh, we, excuse oh, me. No. It's not a reflection on our attitude about your apartment or your activities as our landlord, because we were very happy with you. I mean, we realize that rent is your compensation for the work you do for us, and by not paying you, we're not saying that we don't appreciate what you do for us, we're just saying that life's tough right now and we kind of need money for other things, and we will get it to you by the end of the lease term. I can come back at a more appropriate time. Could you? Now. Uh, we wonder if you might give our landlord a call. I'll see eye to eye with them, I'm yeah, sure. Uh, tomorrow? tomorrow that... Can I get you one of these? Uh, no, I'm okay, actually. All right. I don't blame you because it sucks. It tastes like pineapple concentrate or something. Well, you know, 11 o'clock in the morning is a little mm. early. Can we have uh, right now? What, 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 what am I supposed to do about that? Well, I, mean, you would, I wouldn't want to see it get to the point where you're considering evicting uh, the members of 702 uh, or any one of them for lack of pain. How many of them are there now? I must count. And they're all just in that transition period after they've they've all gone to very uh, prestigious universities uh, and have prepared themselves to be members of our society and and do well, but they're just having that that transition period where they're focusing in on what they're looking for. And some of them have found what they're looking for and they're just about to get those good jobs. You, you have a point. You're, you're, yes, you're within done. within a short period of time, they're going to be holding respectable positions in our society, and not working uh, at the fast food establishments that they are right now. I'm not a charity institution here. Paying you know, I'm not. I'm not a, a, a hospice. I'm not a a a, a place for uh, ho the homeless. I'm not just taking people in. You know, I'm 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 offering something, and I expect to get the. Uh, Payment. They, probably, they shouldn't be out on their own. They should be living off mommy and daddy. If they can't, if they can't handle it, they should go back home. They can handle yeah. it. Just no, they can't. Is not letting them. Obviously, they can quit blaming society. Will you? Do you know they are skilled? Tra they are trained for these jobs and skilled. This in is nothing case new. Studies. I am so tired of this crap. Case studies. I am so They're tired ready. of this crap from people. If from you people your jobs, age. I am sick to jobs, death of this. Do you it. think you're the first fucking generation that that, that, that has had this kind of uh, 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 dilemma? But you want special goddamn privileges. I I don't understand it at all. You think it you invented like this kind of problem? It's what are you trying to sell me here? These guys are worthwhile to keep in this house. You will be doing society. What's so special about these guys? Favor. Why are these guys any better than any any other deadbeats? Tell me what's so special about these guys. I don't I just never fucking liked them. And uh, and and they raised people like you. How am I supposed to like 
my generation, please. I mean, and I predicted this. I knew this would happen 25, 30 years ago. They just asked me. Nobody did, of course. But if they had, I would have told them, this is what you're going to have. This is the kind of children you're going to raise. But nobody, but nobody gave nobody. a shit. I knew it. I smelled it coming. And here I am paying for it now. I just want to be part, part of a good society. society. I was able, I was to, realize able to realize my dreams. My dreams. And, and all my all friends, friends will, eventually. will eventually. And I believe. And I believe well, then why don't they pay, 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 pay their rent? Their rent. If you've if realized you your dreams, dreams and they, they haven't, haven't, you pay, you pay all, their, all rent. their rent. How's that? I'll, I'll be agreeable. Excuses. You're constantly making excuses for your delinquent and irresponsible behavior. Face up to your responsibility. It, 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 it's so common nowadays to hear this. Get yourselves off the hook. That's all you care about. For years, you've been a great mechanic. You do wonderful work as a mechanic. And that's what I love to do. But Joey, you're not a good salesman. You, you, you are. You saying I'm not a good salesman? Well, you assume wrong. You had your dreams? You had a dream no. at their age, at these kids' age? Oh, I might have had something. You're a great guy. And being a great guy, I owe you that much to tell you that. That you're not a very good salesman. I, I don't want to buy a car from you. I want you to work on my cars because that's what you're better at. Okay. This red thing is it's driving them nuts. It is. You're right. And you make a great point. Am I, I don't want to be a fucking landlord anymore. That's what I've learned. And I'm not going to do it anymore. Yeah, um, I can't. So, you hear me out? The only reason I came here is because. I thought you were going to show me the car, not no, try to, to sell me the car. So here's what I'm going to do for you. Uh, uh, honor this agreement. Honor the, 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 their, their side of the bargain or they're out. But That's what has that there. attitude done for you? What is, I mean, it's just gotten you angry. Tell, you're just telling me that you went out of this business, even though you are the only people I write to who ask me for this stuff. Nobody else is coming in here giving me this kind of sob story. Why do I have to make an exception in your case? I've seen the way you guys live. I'd be better off without you. So here's what I'm going to do for you. If you're willing to come to my place, tune up my 928. I love to tune up your 928. I, you know, I do that for Get my man. It's about your, your generation. Money, 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 for Christ's sake. No, we're sake. trying to find out what we want to do, what we love. Yeah. So we've been growing, raised Spend to Spend the money. That's what you like to do. No. That, that's Waste the money. Throw it down the toilet. Not, not at Have all. a keg party every weekend. Have two keg parties. I'll do anything you want. For Not anything you want. Sir, Joey, sir, but... Um, what you want. If you're lucky enough to be able to make your money doing what you love, and that's, that's basically the dream that everyone's following. Well, most people don't get to do what they, they like, what they love. Try. Survey after survey over many a that's year good. has indicated that most people, the vast majority of people, are unhappy with their jobs. That means most people are, are not the living their dreams. I don't owe you anything to make your dream more attainable or your friend's dreams more attainable. I don't owe you that. No one has ever been owed that. And your generation is no different from any previous generation. So get it out of your spoiled little brain that you are entitled to this just because your parents handed you everything. Do me a favor. Get the hell out of this business. Don't waste my time. You're talking to unhappy people when you're talking yes, to people that, that have lived their lives not doing what they wanted to do. Wouldn't you do anything? Once you saw those studies, this is why this generation is a little different. They're the first generation that are being told this. Out, out well, stop believing media. everything you're told, for one thing. That's number one, for God's sake. Cut it out. Seems pretty true. And, uh, enjoy, buddy. I'm going to call you next week, okay. and I'll work on your push. Right. Thank you so much, Joey. sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, buddy. Can't, we can't, I can't let my friends... I'm here because I won't let my friends end up like end up, that. Would your friends do this for you? Of course they would. You could do, you could, you could do better. I mean, than than these than these friends, frankly, Walter. It's like to be young, but there's just I would I did not expect, not expect all these things that it seems you and your friends expect nowadays, and neither either.
uh, has any previous generation, and I don't buy these excuses you make. Oh, things are different. Things are different. These things, things have different. always been different. They will always be different. But now people see. Now people see a little more. Are able to see a little more. Well, I don't see quite enough to uh, uh, agree with your assessment of uh, your friend's uh, situation and what should be done about it. I'm going to have to say that either they have the rent on my desk by the end of, by the end of next week, or that's it. Don't expect favors. Don't expect to be able to take advantage of people. Expect to be adults and responsible adults. It's only rent. It's only rent. It's going to get paid. It's only rent. It's only rent. I mean, I just you you have income from a lot of units. Unit. We're not your only unit. If you're not getting any trouble from any other units, then that seems to be a, a, a great. And there's way. another excuse for you. Isn't that great? Nobody else is screwing you like this, so why can't we? I'm not a mean I'm person, sure. you know. I know you're not. I know. So I know you're going to help them. At least I didn't used to be. Maybe I've gotten a little mean. No, but and that's but. not making you happy. You want to go back in the direction, back to. Uh, Less no, I mean, my happy. mind's still made up, but, I, you know. No, I'm I, sure. I, I don't like doing this, and that's one of the reasons I want to get out of this business. It's, you know, I'm too good for this shit. Although, um, what I'm reading into what you're saying is that you're going to give them a little time, which I appreciate that, that uh, concession. You asked me, about, you. You asked me about my son. This is my son here. Ooh, he, he's a... Uh, we call him Joker. A good-looking guy, Mr. And. Uh, yeah. Does he work for the circus or? I don't know. He just wears tights a lot. I don't really understand it. But if if you give us a break here this month, maybe we can do something for you. Maybe I don't know. Do you have any special interest? Do you have any anything we can maybe anything at all? Anything? Yeah, I have problems on my own, and I have my own worries about making rent. But I don't want to get evicted because some motherfucker didn't pay the rent. Don't you see that if there's something a little bit wrong about? taking pictures of dead people and using them to make money. If I could pay your rent, I wouldn't be here right now. I you shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be living here. In an ideal utopian universe, yeah, I wouldn't be ideal here. Ideal utopian, for Christ's sake. I mean, nobody else thinks it's it's ideal and utopian to, to, to pay the rent once a month. It's not a problem. And it's never been a problem here. This is the first time I've ever had ever this had kind this. of really bad situation. The 23... They're perfectly the healthy. They can get their asses, their asses out there out. and work some overtime or do anything. You guys should just work hard at whatever, and that that's what's going to get you there. It's yeah. a lot of hard work. No, yeah. I mean... If, what? What? They have a professional yeah. contract uh, uh, and binding yeah, agreement yeah, to yeah, pay yeah, you, yeah, and yeah, they will yeah. pay you. How, how, how interesting that you should bring that up. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm fully, aware, fully aware, that, aware, that aware that you have, that you have every, every right, right to, to uh, throw, uh, them, throw out. them out. Oh, good. Oh, that's good. the end that's of the, the conversation. You've been taking an inch after an inch after an inch, and and I can't, I can't, I can't give any more. It's too much. You're taking advantage. I won't tolerate it anymore. They will have the entire year's rent paid by the end of the year. I think you know, arbitrarily breaking the whole rent structure down into uh, monthly payments revolving around this Christian calendar uh, seems rather arbitrary when this is a financial obligation due at a certain date in the future. Uh, they will have all the money paid. And well, like I said, that, that it's you it's as due, ascribing to this Judeo-Christian... Uh, why are we bringing religion into this? I don't understand I'm this. confused I'm, why you are, actually. I'm not even religious. I didn't bring you're up religion. You are bringing up uh, monthly payments on a specific date oh, corresponding please. to what the Judeo Christian. What a uh, leap. What a stretch. Please, come on. Well, how else are you determining All right. these uh, payments? I, 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 th this is where I want to leave it. I told you. Next week, next Saturday, they have to have. Next Saturday. We have to go by some standard, don't we? Some measure. Next. You a religious bigot, sir? What the hell where did this are come you up? bringing this up for? I don't understand how you've made these. Uh, Blatantly religious holidays. Because I mentioned the week. Pagan what do you divide the year up into cups? It it's it that's what that's what a calendar is. I mean that's what a year is. It's divided into weeks. You the society would not be able to function. It would fall apart if we didn't have something due on a certain date. Okay, you You want your paycheck every week, don't you? 
Well, I, I get residuals and they come uh, well, in certain cycles. Well, same difference. Money's not ever, not ever not enough. It's not ever enough. But I didn't invent capitalism. I have to play by the rules, though, just like everyone else does. Yeah, and there are no free rides, and you want a free ride, it seems no, 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 to me. Do what we're thinking, do what we're saying to ourselves. We're saying that you know, America is on the verge of a renaissance. You know, Things are about to change. It's going to shift, shift away, away from this, uh, this economy-driven, uh, market-driven, high rest on low, economic stratified uh, situation where it, it's not it's necessarily not socialistic, but there's got to be a solution to this, this problem that, that people all over are having, which is they can't pay rent. That they can't pay rent, and, they, and if they do pay rent, they're working 50 hours a week in a job that they hate to pay rent. And, and, and you always have circle. plenty of money, it seems, to spend on parties. Well, that's that's an important part of life, and it's no, like, it's not an important. It's not an important part of life when you can't pay your goddamn rent. It shouldn't be. Your priorities stink. <laughs>
and who are educated and motivated, how do they exist in a isolated, microcosmic, new society where they have no responsibilities whatsoever but to their passions and dreams? Well, that would be interesting. I said no. Th this is how America, this is how our society is built. Things change. I'm sick of hearing no. No, just... Yes, just... well, that's obvious you're sick of hearing no. Isn't that just too bad? That's part of life. Having to listen to no once in a while. You don't get to uh, live here. Not here. Maybe somewhere else. Maybe some, some place where, where people allow freeloaders. But no, not here. The children's Ch fantasy, children's poetry, uh, uh, the stories children's tell tales, modern tales, and uh, so really the kids like them, the moms like them. I, you know, I have creative, uh, methods. creative methods and, <laughs> and juices. Not avoidable, you're going to have to leave if you don't pay your rent. I don't tolerate these okay. things. And I will take legal action. Do you have fire insurance? Yes. Okay. Just checking. Thank you, Mr. Rollins.